the, the lens of history and you, you zoom out far, I think you, you can distinguish the less important from the more important. Um, if you zoom out really far and look at the four billion year history of Earth and the evolution of life itself, uh, and say what are the major milestones in the evolution of life itself. I mean, obviously there's single-celled life, multicellular life, there's uh, differentiation of plants and animals, uh, there's life going from the oceans to land, uh, there's mammals and consciousness. So maybe a half a dozen or so really big milestones in the history of life. Uh, and I think on that scale it would also fit the extension of life to multiple planets. We've got something that's, that's so important that it would fit on uh, it'd be one of the half dozen or so most important milestones in the history of life itself. That's pretty darn important. Um, and it goes beyond the parochial concerns of humanity. It's something that is of, of importance to life in general. Uh, so that's why I think it's, it's important to do. And this is the first time in the four billion year history of Earth that it's been possible. Earth is the cradle of humanity. You cannot stay in the cradle forever. It is time to go forth, become its star-faring civilization, be out there among the stars, expand the scope and scale of human consciousness. So how long will it, will it remain possible? I find that incredibly exciting.